Good evening, Clary. I thought you might like your drawings back, Doctor. Just until you get your view. How very thoughtful. Or did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle before you're both booted off the Cape? No, I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. And Rax Island. That was an especially nice touch, Clarice. Yours? Yes. Yeah. That was good. Pity about poor Catherine, though. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Your anagrams are showing, Doctor. Lewis' friend. Iron sulfide, also known as, as fool's gold. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. You were telling me the truth back in Baltimore, sir. Please continue now. Well, I've read the case files, have you? Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. And tell me how. First principles, Clarice. Simplicity. Read Marcus Aurelius of each particular thing. Ask, what is it in itself? What is its nature? What does he do, this man you seek? He kills women. No, that is incidental. What is the first and principal thing he does? What needs does he serve by killing? Anger. Um, social acceptance and uh, sexual frustration. Sorry. No, he covets. That is his nature. And how do we begin to covet, Clarice? Do we seek out things to covet? Make an effort to answer now. No. We just... No. We begin by coveting what we see every day. Don't you feel eyes moving over your body, Clarice? And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? All right, yes. Now, please tell me how. No. Your turn to tell me, Clarice. You don't have any more vacations to sell. Why did you leave that ranch? Doctor, we don't have any more time for any of this now. But we don't reckon time the same way, do we, Clarice? This is all the time you'll ever have. Later, now please listen to me. We've only got five... No, I will listen now. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. You were ten years old. You went to live with cousins on the sheep and horse ranch in Montana. And? And one morning I just ran away. Not just, Clarice. What set you off? You started at what time? Early. It's still dark. Then something woke you, didn't it? Was it a dream? What was it? I heard a strange noise. <laughs> what was it? Some kind of screaming, like a child's boy. What did you do? I went downstairs, outside. I crept up into the barn. I was so scared to look inside, but I had to. What did you see, Clary? What did you see? Lamb. They were screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs. And they were screaming. And you ran away? No. First I tried to free them. I, I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. They just stood there, confused. They wouldn't run. But you could, and you did, didn't you? Yes. I took one lamb, and I ran away as fast as I could. Where were you going, Clary? I don't know. I didn't have any food, any water, and it was very cold, very cold. I thought, I thought if I could save just one, but he was so heavy, so heavy. I didn't get more than a few miles from the sheriff's car. Rancher was so angry, he sent me to live at the Lutheran Orphanage in Postman. I never 
first on the ranch again. What became of your lamb, Glory? I killed him. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? Wake up in the dark and hear the screaming of the lamb. Yeah. Do you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again to that awful screaming of the lamb. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Glory. Thank you. Tell me his name, Doctor. <laughs> Dr. Chilton, I presume. I think you know each other. Okay. Let's go. It's your turn, Doctor. Out. Tell me his name. Sorry, ma'am, I've got orders. I'd put you on a plane. Come on now. Brave Clarice. You will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Tell me his name, Doctor. Clarice! Your case file. 